Andrew McGann here for SevereMMA.com at Cage Warriors 55. We're standing here alongside Conrad Ivanowski. Conrad, you had a massive support behind you today, the Team Reiner guys. How much did that fuel you on in your fight? I uh, feel a lot, but um, the main thing was I always appreciate my fans and the support from my uh, team and all. And uh, I really appreciate that, but um, what uh, learned me from my experience when I uh, turn attention from the guy where who's sitting and all that, uh, that's always make me a lover. I try not thinking about fans. And uh, I really I get them straight away after the fight, but um, I try to concentrate as much as I can on the fight. And then when I win, I see all them, and that's big support. Like, um, it's been, it's, you know yourself, you get support, they push you more in the weak times, in the weak, uh, weak uh, situations, like, you know, so. Um, it's, it's helpful a lot, you know, you know yourself. Tonight, it could be a great night for Team Rhino with Neil capturing the title and Paul fighting as well. Did you notice that in the training and the sparring and the preparation and the general mood around the club? Uh, first of all, I'm sure they will do it great tonight. So far with two wins, another two to go. And preparation was very, very hard. We don't have a certain training every way. Not like stand up, every uh, second, really, which is strength and condition, fitness training, um, sparring, technique, and uh, loads of technique up and down, preparing from each side, you know. So that's why I'm no doubt they're going to win. Like Your guillotine finish, the problem with it was your opponent, you couldn't see where his hands were. So you didn't know how close he was to tapping. You couldn't see the expression on his face. Did you think it was always going to go on, or were you a little bit worried? Uh, I wasn't worried. No, I was. I have to say, I was a little bit uh, stressed because it's my first debut, like, and um, and um, you never know, like, you know how it goes, everything. But um, when I went there, and I know it, that's tight, and I know it, I put all my body weight on it. So I know it, I'm heavy, so obviously uh, they will go on eventually. And I didn't lose much energy because I only pressure with my waist. I actually had to quiet lose my arms uh, because I know how it works. You have to turn head to the side, and all my weight done the, the job. I, I'm and, uh, only other, asked another weight, uh, another side on a, a fence couldn't escape anywhere. I'm only asking because we were behind, and we saw that he was about to tap, and then he thought about it. And you kind of relax, and then he ended up tapping at the end. No, it's um, just I try relaxing things now. That's what they learned me from my, all my fights. And um, I know, the, especially with the chokes, the things go slower, so you need a little bit of that extra pension to get that. Conrad, what's next for you? Uh, what next? Uh, whatever going to comes up, you know. I love to be back to Cage Warriors, you know. It's, and I, I, I think it's, um, I couldn't get better night for my debut pro, and I really appreciate that from the Cage Warriors, and I hope be back soon. And, uh, with extra more action for you. <laughs> Conrad, we really appreciate the time. Thanks for talking Thank to us. Thank you very much. No, see you again.